Today is April 10th, 2024. Uh, last day, a couple days have been a lot. Um, yesterday, outside Golden Corral in Belden Village, a uh, women pulled up. We found the cake. <sighs> we found out nobody paid them. And oh my goodness, they left her there. And she had no way. Today in Bueller's and North Main and Akron, ladies walk in. They already got one guy for trying to smuggle into the country off this case. It's like, oh honey, they got thousands of bad guys off this case. You only know about the one, and then that would be Michael Peterson. In um, November, December 21, he got a hold of me through an online dating site. He told me he was a retired doctor from Italy. And he, um, I thought, what do you want with me? He probably set up from day. Then he starts telling me I'm volunteers in his church. So then I got information of his church and volunteering what the services was. He's like, well, you know, I have reality. He said, you told me what happened to you. I'd just give you a free apartment. I wouldn't expect anything out of it. I thought, well, that's really nice. And then he said, you know, I even buy reality from Muslim countries. I'm like, you do what? And he said he bought it from the ministries. That's their government. I looked it up. They use realtors. The government don't tabble and triple it of selling homes and apartment buildings. Okay. Then he said he was going to buy an oil field. Now, I don't care how old and ugly of a man you are. If you can afford an oil field, something young and beautiful, kiss on you for your money. What do you want with me? Then he told me he was going to buy oil from Venezuela. Looked it up. It's punishable for oil. Tons of it. Then he said he was dealing with direct asylum. Looked him up. He's wanted by our government for drug trafficking, human trafficking, rape, torture, murder, kind of stuff. Sound familiar? Okay. They call him a kingpin. Where they talk about kingpins in this? It's like one of the biggest drug lords in the, in the, in the world. Okay. He said, uh, I said, where are you going to send it back to Italy? The oil? He's like, no, I'm going to send it to the United States. We have an embargo. I said, oh, really? Who won't prove you're buying it? So he sent me an allegation of the sale and then proof where he took 84000 He was paying people off down there to make it happen. Okay. Found out when he was leaving. What airport? So called him one night to get information. He's like, hi, darling. A woman in the background. Hi, Karen. It's funny, she doesn't know what's going on. The, wrong, the, dark, the phone went dark. And a minute later, he's like, hi, darling. It's like, when do you leave? So you know what I did? I got the information of what airport, when he was leaving, what port he was coming back to, and what state and what refinery he was going to. Or not re a refinery, but there's only three refineries in that state. Got the state out of them. Oh, well, then I sort of told the Department of Justice, CIA, ICE, FBI. I told everybody. Do you know what was on Google? Truck Islami got arrested for selling oil out from underneath this government. got arrested over this. One of the biggest struggles in the world. 
you know, in November, December 21, people were showing up. We told these people if they work with Trakasami, go to jail for that shit. You got to think, organizing all the drug cartels to come together and to attack the United States citizens and human trafficking by thousands and hundreds of thousands. Think about it. Tens of thousands of people died. Running scams on people, drug confession, photo shopping on Washington. Huh? Oh, they said they were going to process in May of 22 that they were going to process more people like they did me. Drug them up, tell them to say stuff, Photoshop scenes. It's a drug scam. Oh, from the drug dealers, human trafficking people. Told you, the one guy, the guy that worked, uh, the king from Texas is a fentanyl king. Told you they have both from the Freemasons. The Freemasons confronting him that he uh, had a was it seven or eight hundred thousand dollar inheritance from his dad, and he was using it to pay for this shit, pay for people to follow me. Hey, okay? he's married to a young black girl who's messed up in this shit. They have that what January, March of nineteen on Sunday morning before ten o'clock in the morning. Went to McDonald's and the, the Freemasons followed me down and were confronting him. FBI agent Don and Will do not have the authority to ask anybody to stay quiet. I've talked to a criminal attorney, a police department, and the prosecutor's office. It takes a judge in a jury trial for them to put a gag order on you. FBI agents are only hired police officers. It's right on Google. The police are not submittable to the FBI. They are all police officers. They're just different departments, just like the marshals, the Secret Service, the state patrol, the sheriffs, the local police, Federal Bureau of Investigators. The only ones that are different are the CIA. They sort of work with the Department of Justice and rules over everybody. My brother-in-law was CIA, worked for Dick Cheney, traveled the world. Craig M. Davis died March 26, 1990. He was a wonderful man. I wish he was alive. That agent, John, it's already been verified. He was the one at Apostolic Church of Barberton telling on me. After I called the hotline, they had drugged me up so bad I couldn't get out of bed for a few days. And before I returned his voicemail, he was the one at that church where I told him someone told on me. It was verified it was John, the one they made a fool of June 7, 23, and called him out in Walmart, how they fooled him and mocked him. Hmm? And even the police department up and around the Erica area even thought it was him last year doing this. He's stealing from cases December 2nd, 22, one day's alliance. They said he stole my money the first day. They called him a paid off dirty agent in January 19. And what was it? November 20th of 23, 8 to 9 in the morning, Walmart 62. They said that he took a payoff and he stole my money. He confessed himself out of his own mouth. December 14th, 23, 4.45 p.m. My car is bugged at police all around me. Walks out of McDonald's North Main. Screams out that he was in it with Dave. He set me up and stole my money. 14th Amendment, you cannot withhold somebody's uh, money or assets or take it. So for due process of law, you have to be found guilty and sued for it. Never happen. You cannot withhold protection. 14th Amendment. First Amendment, freedom of speech. It takes a judge to put a gag order in. Fourth Amendment, nobody can be in your house but protected like cases with statements of police or agents to it. It's entrapment. Otherwise, they're stalking. Dave told Danny to hired Pete on his own, and Pete is Alex in a beard framing the Portage County judges. It's a drug cartel getting even with the law enforcement. And my ex was part of it in the drug cartel. That agent told Apostolic Church Barbara Tim he knew I was being drug beaten, raped, and didn't care. And he tried to go along with Strange's pathetic lie, or you were faking you were sick over a four year period, and he knew it was a medication error after a bunch of surgery almost died. It took me nine months to slowly get well. Dave even told him it was a medication that had been making me sick. Hmm. It's documented medical malpractice and documented medication errors. 
told him he was going along with it for that lie. The night before where I told him, someone told him, Dave told Danny he talked to him at that church with his own confession that he had that family that lost their kid in an accident. I had nothing to do with. 2003, it's 2018 at that time. Her father is so arrogant, he's running, a, speeding, runs a stop sign into a semi and kills him and his grandson. I, my whole family's at home. I had six to 10 surgeries. My muscles locked up, went to a bunch of crack pots. Falsely diagnosed me, made my um, <sighs> brain small. They lied, I had brain tumors, level two, one removed my pituitary gland. Um, my heart got off, I was in the cardiac ward, my, pitu uh, my thyroid and adrenal gland quit working and I gained over 150 pounds of swelling. I almost died. And it took another doctor to tell me that it was the doctors making me sick and ripping off my insurance. I had to get with another doctor, get on fentanyl patches, get enough pain, out enough pain to move those locked muscles. And in the first month, I lost 30 pounds. And by the second month, the brain swelling was gone. My heart was working fine. And my thyroid and I drank gland was working fine. And over a nine-month period, I slowly learned to walk on my feet. I had to work my ass off to get well. And for that arrogant, sick, psychotic family just wanting to kill somebody because somebody makes something up six months later, they're just wanting to kill somebody. Oh, she's faking through that. He discredited me when he thought I caught her son committing adultery. My sister Linda is married to his son, Tim, and he was cheating. Tim was cheating with Katie. And Linda was following him around, got caught, and came and told me she got caught following him. So strange made up that uh, shitty lie. And it's just a shitty lie. That's all it is. I started with Dr. Eli in 2000, November of 2002. I was almost well by April of 2003. That traffic accident was in May of 2003 and we were all at home, Brian had to come tell us. And I finished getting well in July of 2003 and Strange made up that lie in November of 2003. Had nothing to do with nothing. They were just wanting to hurt and kill someone so they just picked out someone. I sat sick. And that strain and that agent trying to act like he's going along with religious heresy. And with him talking to Strangers Church and Blaylocks, he's told five to nine hundred people. And with his own confession on a recorded line, he talked to everyone. And like a criminal attorney said, the prosecutor's office in a police department. That agent does not have enough authority to ask anybody to stay quiet. He's only a higher police officer due to the First Amendment, the freedom of speech, it takes a judge in a jury trial. He was just bullying you. I said, why are you confessed on a recorded line that he spoke to everyone? It don't matter. He was only bullying you. Where they lied, they put it in a quarter, like my friend from the prosecutor's office. <sighs> no sitting judge had signed his own arrest warrant of taking somebody's freedom of speech away outside a jury trial. And the Department of Justice put him in jail. The only thing they can put on there is your money and your immunity. That's for working the case. So did the criminal attorney tell me that in the police departments? Okay. They have found out they can add living, housing expenses, and a medical card. And like the place that I've talked to, if he st stole your money, he stole others. He's got way too arrogant arrogant enough to confess in front of the police December 14th, 23, 4.45 p.m. and they taped him walking out of McDonald's, mocking me, how he set me up for date with, told Dave he set me up and he stole my money. Cars around me slammed on the brakes. Later that night out in Hartville, when I picked up an extra shift, we told that guy we didn't know who he was, she didn't know who he was. And we taped him admitting he was in it with Dave and stole her money and none of this is funny by Sunday in Alliance after that the, a lot of people scattered because you realize that agents nothing but a dirty cop stealing from victims feeding them back to the drug dealers okay said officer Mark taped that agent over her case admitting he was in it with Dave and stole their money none of this is funny
Oh, and a bonus. Oh, during the case, too, they talked about now the drug dealers. Each drug dealer that rolled over an area, they, they call them kings. Okay? Like one's a fentanyl king. Bro, I all work for the king from Texas. We are his man. They have hired us. He's a drug lord. Well, Michael Peterson, his email was King David. Okay? They talked about a King Henry. But there was human traffickers from the Texas group, Florida, Georgia. There was drug dealers from Michigan, North Carolina, South Carolina, New York, Pennsylvania, California. They were all here. Virginia. And they whirl them like monarchies. I'm going to upload this.